Well, well, ill met by moonlight, proud all. Hail, fairy queen. <laughs> nice to see you all here. Have we got everyone? I'm here. I've been waiting. Hello. Hello. Can you all hear me? I think I'm plugged in. Ha, ha, ha. That's right, Boyle. Yes, nice and loud, Giles. Perhaps you could sit back a bit, hmm? Sound wise. And, um, could we lose the dog, hmm? What? Oh, Trigger, out. Hi, Serena. Hi, Pascal. Oh, yes, I am here. Oh, Hello, Tamsin. I can see you. What are you doing? I'm learning a new language in lockdown. Sign language. I want you to... Um, you... I love that sign language thing. When I was in the army, we only had to salute. And people understood. Rank, position, everything. Good. Tristram is here. And Fatima. I'll stand up if that's okay. I'm in training for a five mile run. It's for the SSS. Oh, sorry, Starving Seagulls of South End. So. God, I was wondering what she'd get up to next. Starving Seagulls? Huh. Hush, Giles. I'm just coming. Thank you, Fatima. I'll ask you to sit down when we get started. Okay, Jean. It's just I. Carrot cake tonight, everyone. It's really luscious. Oh, I love vegetable cake. It is so healthy. C'est super. Eh? Uh, organic carrots, I hope. Yes, Tamsin. Gluten-free, you know, I know. What ho? I'm here. I'm here. I'm on the iPad in the kitchen. He prefers his old jalopy in the study. <laughs> but it's great, this social distancing. It saved our marriage. I don't have to see him at all. <laughs> Come on, Cheryl. Stop blethering. I prefer the dogs any day. <coughs> That's right, boy. Hail, Fairy Queen. <laughs> what a lineup. Just getting my papers. I use pink highlighter. Look. Come on. Note for everyone. Giles, listen up. There's a mute button, bottom left. If you're not speaking to us, it's best to be always be on mute. Right, everyone, let's... Oh, uh, just hang on a sec. Um, I can't see a mute button anywhere. A mm. pen and a pencil and a highlighter and my script, so... Right, go ahead. Quiet, please. Could you mute Giles, Cheryl? Muted. I still can't see it. Ready? Right. As we are in lockdown due to this virus, this is the only way we can start practicing our play. Just awful. Horrid. Please. Such a shame. Still can't see it. Please. You've all had the cast list, so I hope you've thought about the person you are playing. I'm going to ask you to describe yourselves. Well, your character in Murder at Bog End. I wish I was a different character. I'm going to play two characters. Just brilliant, Jean. Thank you. You were only here to represent the committee, Serena. I haven't got anything else to keep me occupied. 
and it's only a bit of fun, Tanzin. Right, so we're all happy then. Good. I'll give a quick resume of the storyline for those who might have forgotten. <laughs> the Colonel and his wife invite their new neighbours, Noel and Sal, to Bog End Manor to welcome them to the village of Piddle Wet Bog. After a time, someone is found murdered. Da 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 da. Her Majesty's Constabulary are called and the murderer is uncovered. Obviously, that's just the bare bones of the plot, but it's enough to get us started. What? I thought that we just the body, not bare bones. That's disgusting. Patience, Tristram. There's nothing macabre in the play. It's a comedy to cheer us all up in our confinement. Let's start with you. Tell us how you see your character. Well, as you can see, I started with one of Delia's cakes. The ingredients are finger-licking and delicious. Could we please stick to the job in hand? This is my job in hand. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Are you ready, Tristram? I'm always ready, Jean. Oh, dear. Mm. Oh, Tristram. So, I play Noah Pratt. Think we could change that surname, Jean? No? Hmm. He's tall, dashing. And sexy. Oh, can't think why she chose me for that role, darlings. <laughs> You're so funny, Tristram. I thank <laughs> I've been invited to Boggin Manor with my eager girlfriend, Sal. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I'm Sal, very sporty, full of fun and have a wicked sense of humour. Also, I'm very sexy and most intelligent. Jean, I think that role might be better suited to me. Well, <laughs> the play's cast, Fatima. You play Christabel Crumbly Warmhart, a jolly nice part. She's got lots of lines. Hmm, not convinced. Christabel is warm and friendly and fat. Oh, huh. nothing like me at all. I run every day for charity. Who is left? Me. I'm also crumbly warm heart, but everyone calls me nutty. Mm? I'm a colonel, see? Quite clever, that. Hmm. No, never mind. I'm your army man with loads of gosh and guns. And? Pascal, can we please not do the bell all the time? Oh, but Sheen! It is to show that you are speaking, to call them all to order. It is my job, no? I love your enthusiasm, Pascal, but it is a bit over the top. Ah, you want me to bring it up here? Oh! <laughs> Just ring it less often, please, Pascal. Okay, darling. Cheryl, your character is... Ah, oh, yes. Uh, just a no. Just reaching for my... Yes, nearly there. Yes, here it is. My g and <laughs> Yes, well, my role is that of Lucy Lou Slips. You know, Lucy Lou Slips. I'm organised and uber-efficient. 
perfect for me. But I can't make up my mind about the voice. Um, should I do a voice like this? Or one more like this? Or perhaps one more like this? Try out all three as you go along and see which feels right. I'll do notes afterwards by way of um, feedback for you all. Oh, I love notes. So good for one, as are minutes, because... Yes, thank you, Serena. That's it for now. OK, Pascal. <laughs> as you see, I've asked Pascal to do our sound effects as our Foley artist. <laughs> Well, I don't think we're going to need that one, but well done. So, act one, scene one, for next rehearsal. And please practice your characters, even though you don't have to learn your lines. Oh, well, that'll be good for some of us, eh, Giles? <laughs> anyway, when you're practicing, I always think it's good to do it in the mirror. I can do that, Jean. <laughs> Love a mirror, me. <laughs> right, that's it. Same time next week. Yes, bye. Dashing! Jean tea time! Bye, darlings. A bientôt, Jean. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Farewell. Adio.